So now that we have a fresh, clean, blank slate to start with, we're gonna begin building our bespoke custom website. And that starts with the theme. Now a theme isn't really the same thing as a theme in WordPress and that they're totally interchangeable and you can, you know, interchange them. Um, a theme is really just a collection of all of those files that basically structure your site, your templates, layouts, partials, CSS, JavaScript, all of that is contained in a theme file and you give it a fun little name. In case you do reuse structure, you can swap between them. Uh, most people don't. We may eventually remove that um, that whole kind of notion or context uh, in a future, like version three or four or something, but it's not really that important. It's just a way of structuring your files. So let's go ahead and make one. Easiest way to do that is via the command line. So PHP please make theme and we'll give it a name. We'll call it chimney. Uh, we'll make this the active theme and boom, we're done. So what that's done is created, uh, let's see, may need to reopen this because I trashed the previous file, folder rather. Yep, site, themes, chimney, here we go. This is what that just created for us. It set up Elixir, which we'll get, at, get into in uh, the next uh, episode or two. And it's basically just configured for CSS or SAS. You can customize this really easily. Now uh, we'll get into that later. You've got your template file, your layouts, all that stuff. And again, you know, we're not getting into that yet, but if we were to refresh, you would see a really, really basic website. It's just loading this layout file here, which is including a bootstrap, a little custom CSS file for anything you wanna to add to and uh, it loads like the default template and injects it right here. This is, if you're familiar with Laravel, this would be like a yield. Um, the layout file is like the page wrapper, all of the stuff that you want, all the markup you want in every page request. So you have your header, your footer, all that stuff you can just put here. If you don't like the notion of a layout, if your brain would rather kind of do embeds or like includes for everything, you can do that. Just leave your layout totally blank and do everything in your template. It's up to you, but I feel like this saves typing and saves code, so we do it this way. And next we'll do that necessary evil thing where we install our node assets, right? Uh, we'll change our directory into site themes chimney and I'll just yarn right here. So if you haven't used Yarn before, you used to NPM install, maybe you missed that whole rage that everyone was tweeting about uh, a month or two ago. Uh, Yarn is a replacement for NPM and it's a lot faster. It's faster because it creates like a local cache of the different versions and does some other magic and I think some concurrent downloads and other stuff that NPM didn't do. And it seems to have pretty effectively replaced NPM, thankfully. I mean, I was frustrated for a long time with that. Anyway, so we've done that. Now uh, we can do stuff like gulp and it'll compile our assets right here and we're good to go. So you can see if we had um, a SAS file, we just had like body background uh, red, right? And then we gulped. So there you go. Uh, you're up and running. You've got SAS compilation going. So at this point, we're basically ready to jump into uh, really front end development. So I'm gonna basically just dive right into that and record it. It's totally optional. I don't expect most people to watch me code CSS, but since I need to do it anyway, I figure I might as well make it available. And if there's two things you can learn, uh, maybe that'll be worth your time. I'm, I'm not doing bootstrap. It will be from the ground up. So you'll see my basic process and how quickly some things come together. Uh, I mean, quickly is a relative term. There's still some painful moments with a flex box ahead, I'm sure, but um, it is what it is. So feel free to skip or watch or skip it halfway, it's really up to you.